Okay, so finally, what I'm going to do is finish off the home page. So we're going to add the little text at the bottom and then also complete this section of the footer. So all I'm going to do is first off, add the text below the split banner components that we have already com completed so if i go into my index.js file on the home page i simply i'm just going to render a p tag paste that in and save what i also i'm going to do is i'm going to create a styled component for this so i'm just going to call it terms now if i copy this and import it at the top go into my styled file and then export const the terms which is equal to styled dot p it's a p tag this one what i'm going to do is give it a padding all around of 30 pixels i'm going to align the text to the left and save so now i have the text at the bottom all i need to do is give it a font style of italic a font size of 0.6 rem and a line height of 20 pixels so now i have that section complete i could give it a color of gray also or a light gray color and potentially increase the font to 0.8 so i think that should be okay i'll give it a normal gray yep that's perfect and now we will create the footer component so if i import it first of all and name that one footer and now what we have to do is create a folder for the footer component and a file of index.js or fce and name this one footer so i have already predefined the footer links i have put everything into a container and in each container they have a column with a p tag inside so that's that complete and i will create a new file for the styles js and in the styles file i'm just going to copy and paste what i have so with the container this time i've given it a styled of footer to ensure that the html is rendering a footer the column container has a background of the red display of grid which repeats five times so we have five different columns here with the text having a color of white and padding of top and bottom of 10 pixels and in between left and right of five i've also done some media queries in there so that when it reaches the tablet size device then what would happen is it would go down into a single column like so so if i save that and in my footer i also need to import the style so if i import the container the column container and the column itself from the styles from styles and now i save and I also need to import now the footer from my components. And now if I save and scroll down and now have my footer here, which is also responsive and goes down to the single column like so. There is one thing I also need to do for my headings. This should be in a regular font and not an italic font. So if I go into my global CSS and update my font face, so if i go into here and then i just want the black font and if i save now that looks very similar to the font on the actual costa website that's the home page now complete so what we will move on to next is the location page and in this page we will render out the map and we will also render out the cards and start implementing our api as well